If you decide to make some review of something in YouTube, make sure that nobody has done something like that before. In one of my recent videos, I demonstrated to you the Roswell LP90 pickup, the neck version that I used in this guitar. I wanted to make the low budget upgrade for the low budget guitar to make it from shitty into something that you can actually work with. And the Roswell pickup did improve the sound of this guitar. The original one uh, did sound awful and actually it fell apart uh, the moment I removed it from this guitar. So. Uh, sounding and being better than uh, this kind of shitty pickup is not a big deal. However, I wanted to try out whether the Roswell pickup that I purchased for 30 euro uh, can uh, match uh, with the sound with some uh, more expensive uh, and uh, highly uh, recommended brands like DiMarzio that uh, costs uh, about three times as much as the Roswell pickup. And originally I wanted uh, uh, to order the uh, LP90 bridge model, but it's still on delivery and I, go, I guess it's got stuck in uh, this Suez uh, canal uh, recently. However, I have another uh, guitar project and for that project I ordered the uh, uh, LAF uh, humbucker bridge model from Roswell. And this actually matches better the specifications uh, with the DiMarzio pickup that I'm trying to compare it with. Of course, before I purchased this pickup, I made some Google search. I wanted to find some demonstrations of how this pickup actually sounds. Well, some of people didn't bother to make decent sound recording. They just used uh, their camera because we all know how awesome uh, the camera can pick the sound. Second. A lot of people used two different guitars, uh, one was uh, equipped with Roswell pickups and another one was equipped with some uh, different pickups. And for me, a guitar might affect uh, the sound as well. So for my test I use uh, the Ibanez Prestige uh, RG 1570 guitar. Well, this is decent, uh, nice uh, guitar. So you can uh, make uh, the fair test of these pickups. And another thing, I uh, read some uh, comments below uh, those videos and uh, the overall opinion was, yeah, of course uh, these pickups are much cheaper, that's why uh, they can't hold up uh, against some uh, more expensive brands. And that's why for this video I'll make blind test. <laughs>
Well, at this point I'm kind of confused. Roswell pickups are actually not that bad, and I definitely heard some uh, pickups that are worse uh, than Roswell pickups. However, as for me, they can't hold in terms of sound quality against uh, DiMarzio pickups, as you might have heard. I can definitely play with them, but this wouldn't be my first choice. As for this guitar where I put the LP90s, well, I can uh, keep them in this guitar and I can live with it. But if I would uh, grab some other guitar, I would uh, definitely search for some other pickups. So, can I recommend them? Let me put it this way. You have some low-budget guitar that is uh, for some reason important for you, for example, because it was your first guitar and you want to make low-cost upgrade. Maybe Roswell pickups might be a good option for this type of upgrade. As for uh, some low-budget uh, pickups that can really hold against some more expensive brands like DiMarzio or Sima Duncan, well, my number one choice would be Iron Gear pickups. I already made uh, the whole review about the Iron Gear Jailhouse Rail 2 pickups that are really awesome and I like uh, the sound. And in fact, this was uh, the sound that I was looking for all this time. Uh, well, however, there is uh, one little thing. Those pickups are sent from the UK and I live in Europe, so I don't have to pay the custom fees and the shipping costs are not th this high. So I paid uh, about uh, 40 euro for a single pickup. If you live in Canada, USA or somewhere South America or Aust Australia, the shipping costs might be slightly higher and uh, you might pay the custom fees for importing uh, these pickups. So I don't know if the final price for Iron Gear pickups would be as high as uh, if you would uh, pay for DiMarzio or Sima Duncan in the first place. But still worth of checking out. Another non-expensive option uh, would be uh, the Russian brands uh, like ARB and Fokin pickups. I ordered a couple of those and I paid uh, something between uh, 45 and uh, 50 euro for a pickup. Of course, including shipping costs and uh, custom fees, uh, this would be about 60 euro for a pickup. And of course, if you order these pickups, to save money on the shipping costs, you should probably order the whole complete set uh, for your guitar. Well, however, those pickups are still uh, slightly cheaper than DiMarzio or Sima Duncan's, and uh, I'm, I'm waiting for the delivery and uh, the review of those pickups uh, will be. Uh, available soon uh, on my YouTube channel, so stay tuned for the news. Until that moment, have a nice day and keep on rocking!